one on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. And what I got here for you today is an absolutely beautiful 1972 Buick Centurion convertible. It's a one or two owner car. It's an ab just absolutely beautiful shape. And the unique thing about this car is it's original paint. I don't think they put a speck on it. Um, it's in great shape. I'm going to go around it. There's your average ding or dent here or there, and I'll show you all that. All the chrome is in absolutely beautiful shape. Um, as you can see, the back window on the top there needs a little attention, but I'm just going to put a brand new top. The top's in great shape, except for that window part. Um, I was going to put a new top. The minute I do that, guess what? I'll pick white. Somebody's going to want me to put a black one. Well, it's a really nice car, except for that white top. I really want a black top. So, I ain't prejudiced. I like them with a white top and a black top, but this car is pretty rare in the red and white combination with this 455 4V motor. This is just an absolutely beautiful car. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go show you a once around, a twice, that was a once around. I'm going to give you the twice around, go up close and all that. I'm going to show you underneath it right now. First off, bam, let's look underneath. Let's see what's all there. Now, I did have a little leak that started yesterday because the power steering hose went and I lost my high pressure power steering hose. You can see right there, it's got a little drip. Um, got that replaced, and I'll show you that when we do under the hood. Look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. This car is in great condition. It's not all rusted out. Anything you see on it is a patina. Um, and that's a real thin piece to have no rust in it. Um, it's just beautiful. I'm not going to touch this up or spray anything on it because I definitely want it to be in the shape that it's in. Um, if this was my car and I had it, I would spray all this flat black, rust proof type stuff and do that to that, if that makes any sense. Um, just because it would protect it a little bit. I want you to see what you're actually getting though. Um, scratches in here. Um, the chrome's in great shape. Little scratches here and there. And like this. This is just on there. And then I'll show you something on the other. This has popped that bead out of there when he broke it. Broke the surface right there. Chrome's in great shape. Little chips and dings all in here. This is the biggest dent in the car right there. It's a dent. It's an actual dent. It chipped the paint off. Um, you can almost pop that out from the inside. I'll show you that from the inside. Um, this piece of trim, as you can see, look at that screw. See that? You can see that. You can actually reach and put a bolt on it. Now, I told Richard to put a bolt on that. I said, Richard, I popped the hood. I reached in. I showed him exactly where to do it. Told him to put a bolt on it. That's what we got. So, yeah. Okay, going down this side. This car is straight as can be, but... This car is also, what, 33 years old? No, it's older than that. My God. It'd be 38, 8, 28, 38, plus 5, 42 years old. And it doesn't show, man. Okay, let's go over this little chippy chips and right there. Then this right here, which we talked about, a little chip there. A little bit of stuff starting in the paint here. Now, I'm pretty sure this is original paint. Um, it could have had something done somewhere. I don't know. Um, if they painted this car, they did a great, great job. Little dings in here. And it chips on this back piece. This ain't a chip, but it's something in the paint, and I just want to show it to where you see it. See right there? And then these are chips. It looks like parking lot type things right there. It actually looks like you touched some of them up. Little chip. And you know, honestly, there's just a lot of little chips here and there. There. You know, chip, chip. And then this is wore through on the edge. My hands are filthy. I've been working all day on this stuff. Now, the rubbers and everything are in great shape in between here. Just look great. This piece is a little bit shrunken up, as you can see. Nothing too bad. It looks good in there. That looks good. And this could have been shined up and was not. So it'll all shine up more. And the car is just in great shape. It's not something I would paint. I would just drive this car like it is. Plain and simple. Worn through right on the edges here again. And the paint is thin in areas. Um, 
like right there, it's really thin, you can see. Now I'll do a walk around in a different lighting too to where you can see. You know, there's like thin spots in here. You know, it's not as shiny as it should be. It's just not perfectly beautiful, awesome, 100% paint. But what it is, is a nice, clean, original car that's in just absolutely beautiful shape. Okay, second worst damage on the car. And it's not huge, but it's just this little, he scratched up against something right there. How that works, you can see it. Just a little gouge in the bottom part of the door. Okay, down this side, you know, miscellaneous thin spots and chip here and there and discoloration here. Uh, the rocker panel moldings are in great shape. If they painted this car, they did an awesome job. Little chips everywhere. And they did it a long time ago. Like if this was painted, it was like 30 years, 20 years ago. Okay, this piece might need a new clip. <laughs> it might not, because I'm just that good. Um, the door might need a little adjustment. Oh, I guarantee you what that is. Is he probably put that in and it needs a little adjustment here because of that. So look at down the side though, just straight as can be. Besides a ding here and there. I'm not here to tell you it's perfect. I'm here to tell you it's a rust free classic. Now I, I went over the sides. Now I want to literally show you the wheel wells and stuff like that. Now this, this should come off. This should just be cleaned off a bit. I'll do that and show you that in the night video. Now look in these wheel wells. And the sprinkles, some of them are the tire dressing that sprinkled over. Just beautiful. Look at that. Some Turian caps and some of them are tinked in just a little bit as you can see right there. A couple pieces of this trim. A little loose, the rubberized stuff on it. Um, the window drip rail things, look at that, they're still pliable. And they're still pretty much all there. Not pretty much, they're all there. Unless that little corner came off. Ah, it just separated at the end. But it's still there and it's still got a grip on the window. Imagine that after all this time. A little bit of seal coming out there. Weather stripping. That one could use to be replaced. It don't leak all over the place. Tear in the top here, just starting. It's in great shape. Window's gone, it's not all ratty and stuff. Window's gone. I sink in to sew one in, it's not that really that easy to do. And then it tore over there, I'll show you that up close. So you got this to contend with. That's the worst spot in the top. So there are a couple two, 300 bucks on eBay. Like I say, I was just gonna buy one and put it in. It's set at the upholstery shop for over a year. This drip rail or weather stripping has fell down there. This one's still in pretty good shape. That's the deal there. I showed you all the chips, door trim, molding guard. I'm gonna actually pop my jacket off because it's hot as can be right now. It's going from hot to cold. It's getting old. Hey, I'm a poet and don't know it. Yeah, I do. Why am I saying I don't know it for? Jeez. Okay, so give you a peek at the inside. Um, the interior video is coming up. Power windows. This thing's got all the options. It's even got some op You close the door too hard because you're just not ready for it to be that nice. Okay. Showed you the wheel well there. Showed you the underneath up front. Let's look under the side and check that out. I almost forgot. Which I don't want to do. I do enjoy showing these cars like this. It's just you're buying something like this. You want to see what you're getting. And look at this, this is what you're getting, a clean rig that runs good, drives good, isn't all rusted to hell. This car's in great shape. I didn't even do anything to the underneath of this. I didn't even, these guys didn't even power wash it or anything. They really didn't need it. It's just clean as can be. Let's look in the back, look at them rocker panel moldings. And yeah, there's a couple cobwebs and stuff on it. It's just the way it is, sorry. Even these lip moldings in great shape. Let's make sure all four. Yes. I'll check the other side after the back. God, I like.
like this car. I, I get into some of these that I just wish I could keep. You can't keep them all. You can't keep close to them all. True duels. Wow. It's like there's a muffler and a cat or something, or two mufflers, or... I think it's almost two mufflers is what it is. Is that... Somebody want to comment? Hang on. Muffler here. And on my YouTube channel, people like to comment on that stuff. Is it a muffler? Resonator? Uh, I don't know what the stinking thing is. It looks like two mufflers. To quiet it, that big 455 down for this big bad Buick Centurion. Okay, the piece across the back is in great shape. A little ding there. And all the way, all the chrome. This piece around this wheel lip's in great shape. I love the way the wheel lip goes into rocker panel, into bumper. It just looks absolutely awesome. Um, wheel lip molding. Great shape. Okay, well that's that. You've seen it all, look at it. Clean as can be. Now these tires, little titties all over the side and everything. Three of them are a Falcon, and they have all kinds of tread on them. The fourth one, is a Yoko Mama. I know it ain't no Yoko Mama. These are really, really a pretty close to new set though, as far as no tread gone. What is this? A Yoko Mama. A Yokohama. AVID Aventuri S. Plenty of tread. Little titties all over the side. Kind of a spare thing. I like, we got a three in one. That's what we got. There's three of the Falcons and one of the Yoko Mamas. So, that's the deal, that's the car. I'm gonna do an interior review. Um, I might just take the top down right now. Let's do this. It's okay, breeder. That's my dog, tinybeagles.com. Hey now, that ain't what we was wanting to do. I think I pushed that, okay. Nice car. Okay, let's do this. Oops, didn't get mine unhooked over here. Hang on, let's put this down this side. As you can see, when I just hit the top. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Okay, now over time these tops get weak and all that. You usually have to help them up and all. That's your button. Watch this. Told my guy the other day, now you might have to help this. He did not have to help it. This top works. Everything all swings together. One thing I would do is while it's down like this, I would grease all that. I greased it while it was up. You can see that one up there has even got like a ball joint on it. I would grease that, you know, uh, stuff like that. So there you go. That all works. So since that's like that now, I'm going to go ahead and flip that sucker down. And leave it. Now let's go ahead and Do it to it there. I just did it behind me. So you miss most of the roll down. That one's a little slow. It's got a rear switch though, so I'm gonna try and help it. Um, this isn't something you usually would do, is have it up and down all the time. So, I haven't messed with this any. I'm hoping I didn't zoom in too much there. It just fell a bit, which is easily down. Easily up, just needs a little direction. Definitely what it needs is for the track to be greased, most likely. Definitely and most likely don't go together. Yes, I know that, okay. It's just the way I accidentally set it there. 
Let me turn this bad boy off and I would think you'd want another walk around to see it in its glory. Let's do this. Hang on, let me get my jacket on the floor there. It looks like crap in the car. Okay. Look at that big bad boy. It's a lot of car. That's all there is to say about it. And this is a nice one. I'm gonna leave the top down for tonight. Look at that car. This is what I want to drive. This is what I want to drive. That's all there is to say about it. Drive it until that motor's not working, which has probably got tons of life left, and then put like an LX10 in it for like 20 grand. There we go, now we're talking. It's hard to not go original with something like this. This car is a great running, great driving car. Uh, it's absolutely a blast to drive with the top up or down. Um, it's got a nice, smooth, flow, sound, look, and feel to it, and at the same time, it's got tons of power. So it's kind of the best of all worlds where you got a muscle car, but it is toned down on the sound. If you wanted to put some pipes under this, you could, but it's toned down on the sound and subdued a bit with that Buick exhaust and everything. But there's tons of power. 72 was getting towards the last of the big power, big block cars. This one is absolutely stunning. And yes, it could be nicer here or nicer there, but then it wouldn't be original like this in a Survivor. It would just be something that had been restored partially. Either do it all, or drive it like it is, man. I'd drive this thing like it is. Thanks for watching. Check out all the pictures and stuff on OneOwnerCarGuy.com. I'm going to do the interior next, and then we'll do a test drive, and then I'll put them all together, and you'll see all kinds of video coming up. I've got all kinds of more car reviews coming out. Make sure and subscribe here on YouTube and all that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Can soup. Dot com. We'll talk to you.